Hey, Joy, what time is it? It's time for Cruise Day Fun Podcast. That's right. <laughs> uh, so welcome to our second Cruise Day Fun Podcast. Today's topic is sea days. We've got <gasps> sea day overview and tips, a lot of great information, and hopefully we've got a better picture than we did last time. Sea days. Let's get into it. The first obvious question we need to answer is what the heck is a sea day? A sea day is when a ship is between ports and you're on the sea traveling to one port or leaving one port. Okay, so that's a day so where you're, you're on, on a sea. cruise. You're on a cruise and you're not stopping in a port. That's correct. So don't try to get off the ship. No. That's the old joke they always say, do not do not do not get off the ship when you're on a sea day. So there that means all the passengers are going to be on board. There, right. It doesn't get a little less crowded because people are off on excursions. There's a lot of people on board, but there's also a lot going on. There is. So let's let's talk about, let's start at the beginning. What start is... At the beginning. What are you doing? I'm doing our start at the beginning song. Anyways. We have a start at the beginning song. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm being what, silly. Yes. What is the best way to start your sea day? What would you do? What would you recommend? So you can, before the sea day, you can check and see if there's a uh, tea time. Some cruise ships have a tea time or a brunch time. So you can do that. That's how you start your sea day? You go to tea? Oh, I have first breakfast inside my cabin. Okay. So. You get room service. This is what she's saying. <laughs> I know from experience, first breakfast for a joy. <laughs> She taught me all about it. It means when you're on a cruise, hey, have fun, take full advantage, right. order that room service breakfast, right? Get you breakfast get your in coffee, bed. Coffee, you get your juice, yeah. you get your bagel and lox. Yeah. Mm. And you might be saying, hey, you could do that on any day on a cruise, and that's pretty much true. But on a sea day, what makes a sea day awesome is it's more laid back. Right. You're not worried about getting us to an excursion in the port at a certain time. You're not worried about disembarkation on the last day. Aww. It's a sea day. It's a laid back fun day. So take your time, order that room service and have your first breakfast. Yeah. Enjoy the morning. Enjoy the company that you're with. <laughs> yeah. And what else can you do first thing in the morning? Then after you do the first breakfast mm -hmm. you want to go down after you've gotten ready uh -huh. and either go for a walk or go to the mdr uh -huh. uh, main yeah. dining room main dining room <laughs> after yeah. you've had your breakfast in your room or yeah because you want to have your real breakfast, breakfast your second breakfast okay so let me stop you there before we get too deep into breakfast again oh boy so <laughs> i agree with this first breakfast concept even if it's your only breakfast, breakfast delivered to Rome is an awesome thing to do on a cruise. Um, it, it varies by cruise line what they charge and how it works, but some of the cruise lines offer complimentary a, a continental mental. breakfast. Yeah. Um, what I like to do besides ordering the food is I like to get coffee. And you can get coffee through room service, but sometimes a lot of these ships these days have really nice specialty coffee shops, even like Starbucks on board. And so I'll get, get my clothes on. <laughs> That's a good first step. And then I'll head down the, the, to the deck that they have the coffee shop on, and I'll get myself a nice specialty coffee, a mocha, or a nice nice brewed coffee. Yeah. And, and if we're fortunate enough to have a balcony, while she's getting dressed or having her first breakfast, <laughs> I'll go and I'll hang out on the balcony and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. And what a great, what a great way to start the day at sea. Yes. Relaxing in the cool morning air, uh, the anticipation of the day, mm -hmm. having your coffee. And then we get dressed and we head off to breakfast. So let's let's move on to the second breakfast, or what most people on board are probably just calling breakfast. Um, <laughs> let's talk about some of the different cruise lines and what your breakfast options are. And you kind of already went into it a little bit, but let's see if there's anything specific we need to point out. Let's start with Norwegian. If you're on Norwegian and you're going to, out of your room after you've gotten dressed and you're heading <laughs> off to have your breakfast or second breakfast, where could you go? You could go to Oceans yes. and have their amazing French toast or pancakes and a fruit bowl. Yep. So good. Yeah, and you... Oceans is complimentary, so yep. you're not paying any extra. And on some ships, they don't have Oceans. They have the local instead, which is very similar. Yep. yep. Or you could go to the buffet mm -hmm. 
and or you could go to the main dining room yeah. and sit back and relax and it's a full course breakfast so yeah. they full service they so they bring it right to the table just like a, a, a good old restaurant back home and again it doesn't cost any extra buffet doesn't cost any extra mm -hmm. um a lot of great options for breakfast on the region right. um yeah so let's move on to the next what about royal caribbean what, royal. what could you do on for breakfast on royal caribbean well, you could do still do first breakfast. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to second breakfast. <laughs> In second breakfast, you can go to the main dining room. Uh -huh. You can go to... Um, that's that's what I think we did the most was... Now, you can go to the... To the um, buffet. To, yeah, we can go to, to the buffet and enjoy enjoy the breakfast, the buffet-style breakfast there. But I think I enjoyed the Royal Caribbean yeah, um, main, main dining, dining room, room breakfast. Uh, that's a really good option too. Um, what about carnival? Carnival? Oh my goodness! Be breakfast. Set. Yeah. Breakfast. Well, the doesn't sometimes the cruise lines have a brunch, or yeah, you touched on that already, and we can come back to that in a minute. But let's so let's just talk breakfast here, and okay. then then you can tell them about the brunch you were talking about. Yep. So you can do the buffet or the main mm -hmm. dining room. I think we went to the main dining room. Yeah, um, it, I think it, it may vary on Carnival, but but I honestly, I just got to say, we don't usually go to the main dining room for breakfast, and that's mainly my fault probably, because I like to go to Blue Iguana oh, and right. get the breakfast burritos, the huevos mm -hmm. rancheros, the arapas. We did a whole video about Blue Iguana where we featured the complimentary Blue Iguana cantina breakfast, um, but there is the buffet, so there's definitely that option. So he um, would go to the Blue Iguana Mm -hmm. And I would go to the buffet probably. Yep. And then we'd meet at a table on, we'd, we'd, we'd kind of pick an area to meet. Exactly. Um, and you were talking about brunch, sea day brunch. That's yes. something that, that Carnival has. So the cruise lines may have something similar, but what is Carnival's sea day brunch? Sea day brunch is just uh, a sit down brunch. You can mm -hmm. order anything from the breakfast menu and order something it from the lunch menu and yeah it's kind of, it's kind of a combined menu they make specially for the brunch and it's got some things that you, like you, what you're saying is some things that you'd see in a lunch menu some things in a breakfast menu and mm -hmm. sorry exactly <laughs> and you can get mimosa mm. oh, yeah i should have known you were going there yeah or you can like get a bloody mimosa. mary yeah. yeah so like i was talking about earlier a sea day is a great time to just kind of take it slow and the the breakfast the, the brunch alternative to breakfast or in addition to breakfast, however you want to look at it, um, is a great way to kind of take it slow and enjoy the sea day. Yes, what the alcohol start. does cost, but... Yes. yes, it does, but the Excellent. brunch itself, that's that's complimentary. So much fun. We got, let's cover one more cruise line here, um, Disney Cruise Line. Where could you go for breakfast on Disney? Well, you could go to the Disney... Um, Rotational main dining Rotational rooms. Rotational dining. Yeah. That's or, always great. Or you can go to the buffet. Exactly. This, yeah. You get your Mickey waffles. Oh, get yeah. your, yeah. A lot of great, a lot of great breakfast items on Disney. Um, complimentary, both whether you go to your rotational main dining room or you go to the buffets. A lot of great food there. Let's mm -hmm. move on. Uh, before we move on, though, we hope you like this sort of information. If you do, hit the thumbs up icon below. It'll help other people find this video and help them find out this great, great information about Sea Days and other Cruise Day Fun podcasts. That's right. Next thing we need to talk about. We've talked about food a lot, but we do that on this channel. If those of you who watch this know we like cruise food. Mm -hmm. Maybe more than I should. But anyway, what... What about morning activities? What morning activities can you do on board? Because you can't get off the ship. Because the ship's sailing. That's true. What, what can you do in the morning for an activity on board the ship? Oh, there's so many activities. They have trivia. They mm -hmm. have exercises sometimes if you really want to get up and okay. do exercises. <laughs> okay, slow down. <laughs> slow down. Uh, yes, they've got, they've got every cruise ship we've been on. Oh, somebody's off to a cruise now. Uh, every cruise ship we've been on has a like a fitness club. So at least I've heard rumor. Um, you can go there and you can work out. You can also, there's a lot of times they'll have classes. Uh, what, spinning, I think they call it. Spinning, yeah. stretching. Yeah, yogurt or yoga or whatever <laughs> they call it. Stuff that I'm not as familiar with. But, and of course, they've got a jogging track, which if you are a runner or if you would just like to get your morning walk in, a walk or a jog on a cruise trip, cruise ship, 
uh, like the carnival ships or any of these ships. They usually are on the upper deck. You get this awesome view uh, as the sun sun rises in the morning. Right. Wow. What yeah. a, what an experience. I, I mean, love walking the deck yeah. or just walking on, on the shop <laughs> yeah. floor. But let's back up. We're talking a lot about a lot of these things that, uh, that are very, very physical activities. Oh, boy. Um, you mentioned trivia. Now, that's one of the fun activities we've enjoyed doing. Can you give them examples of some of the themed oh, trivia that some, we've lost at? <laughs> some of the trivia, like some have Harry Potter, mm -hmm. Game of Thrones, Golden Girls, Friends. Mm -hmm. um, they yeah. just have a wide variety of trivia. Yeah, and uh, these popular topics that you thought you knew so much about, more than all your friends and coworkers, wait till you get in there. There's some stiff competition on board there in our is. experience. Oh, boy. Uh, Para DJ. Para DJ it is a great cruise channel that we've enjoyed watching for a long time. And those guys, if they are on board, look out because they're going to go and they're going to win all the trivia. Just, I'm just <laughs> saying. Uh, other morning activities you can do on board. We mentioned some physical activities, some more laid back activities. Uh, sometimes they'll have some craft activities you can do, mm -hmm. some like artworks. Uh, we've learned how to draw uh, cartoon characters. Uh, there's usually some some music playing on board. It's usually during the daytime, it's a little more laid back acoustical type music. Right. Um, and there's other things you can do that you can sign up for in advance, uh, like get, taking a tour of the of the ship, the inner workings of the ship and those sorts of things. Great things to look into before your cruise. Um, a lot of great morning activities. Um, let's, let's get back on track here though, because we've been talking okay. about exercising and- Yeah stuff that is just making me feel like it's time for a bite. We haven't talked about food in, I think, three minutes. So let's talk about <laughs> sea day lunch. Oh, Where yeah. would you go for sea day lunch on a on a cruise? Uh, let's let's again, go specific cruise line. So let's start with, we were just talking about Carnival. Let's talk about Carnival again. Where could you go get a great sea day lunch on oh, a Carnival cruise? There's so many places besides the okay. buffet. You can go to Guy's. <laughs> Guys, burger. burger joint, yeah. Yep. You yep. can go to Blue Iguana, get a taco. Blue Iguana, which I was mentioning before for breakfast. They're great for lunch, too. And they typically, for their tacos, they've got soft shell tacos. They make the tortillas right there on the ship. You can watch them make them. And they'll put whatever whatever fillings you want in the burritos. Great, great options at Blue Iguana. Um, some, just, yeah. some ships have um, big chicken. Mm. Yep, some of the newer ships have big chicken, which has some great chicken and biscuits. breakfast oh. and lunch. Yeah, chicken sandwiches. Um, and of course, like buffet, um, carnival. We're talking about carnival. Mm -hmm. You've got the carnival on most ships. This is most ships have carnival deli where they'll hand make you uh, hot or cold sandwiches. Yes, yeah, so uh, good they Ruben. Have, yep, they have a pizza place like yes. um, Pizza Pirate or Pizza Del Capitano. And some of their ships have uh, the seafood check. Which the is a great option check. for lunch or for a snack, and it costs extra for that. But if you want fish and chips while you're at sea, that's a great place to go. Or you can, some of them have pig and anchor too. You oh, can yeah. get your bar yeah, yeah, barbecue yeah. on. Yeah, there's, they've got, Carnival has a couple different versions of the barbecue uh, options on board. And at mm -hmm. lunch, they're typically uh, no extra charge, uh, even if they, they have carry a charge in the evening. So that's right. great to know. Um, a lot of options on Carnival. What about Disney? What could you do for lunch on a sea day for a Disney cruise ship? You could go to Palo Lunch. Oh, mm. their brunch, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, or some of their ships, they offer Remy brunch. Yep. yep. And you can also do like uh, their buffet too, or their main mm -hmm. dining room. One of their main dining rooms, so it's themed, so yeah. you can... Have so, we done lunch on a Disney cruise ship in the main dining room? I don't think we have. I know we've done breakfast, and I know I know you at least done have done Palo dinner. Lunch. Well, Palo, yeah, I know Palo. We've done Palo for everything we can. Um, also, at lunchtime, if you want a more casual option, like kind of like the buffet, um, the Disney ships out by the pool, at the opposite end from the buffets have these walk-up stands yes. where you can get different things like chicken tenders or salads. Or the uh, barbecue. Yep, the Disney Wish has a Mickey's barbecue, uh, which is a, a really great addition. Uh, they they've also, also got tacos. So many great options. They also have a vegetarian salad walk-up. Okay. So okay. you can have salad or wraps. Or... Okay. We spent a lot of time on Disney. Should we move, can we move on to Royal Caribbean? What yes. does Royal Caribbean have for lunch options? Oh, my goodness. So they they have, like, walk the dog. You could have a hot dog. The do you... I always get that wrong. The dog. 
is it the dog sh dag sh dog shack not oh, yeah. the dog is it the dog shack or the dog house the dog house i know i got it right, wrong last time i'm thinking yeah. of a minnesota place yeah and that's complimentary yes complimentary um and also they have of Pizzeria? course the pizza, pizza uh, What's it called? sorrentos sorrentos pizza not yeah. sorrentos uh, not sorrentos it's Sorrento's or the Promenade uh, Cafe where they sometimes have the pizza and they have other uh, sandwiches. They got stuff for breakfast there too. We forgot that before. Yep. You can also go to that, what's that local kind of bar where you can get burgers and stuff? Mm, oh, the, the, the Playmakers? Yeah. It depends on the ship. Some of these vary by ship. We're going by our personal experience mostly here, um, but it varies by ship. The bigger ships are going to have more options, and that just kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, but, if, you know, you can always go to the, the, the Windjammer ca uh, Cafe, the buffet mm -hmm. on board. Always tons of options there for every meal. So also a great lunch option. You can take your time. It's a sea day. You go all day. You can you enjoy you can and taste a lot of different food. Explore the different restaurants complimentary restaurants like yeah. the bamboo room no that one's not complimentary let's not oh. let's be careful we're not saying that Sorry. that's and that's not on a lot of the ships uh that's on those on one of the ships that we've been on um and we'll get to that let's talk about that when we get more into the evening stuff because they tend to be open later um we need to mention let's not leave out norwegian um, we love norwegian and norwegian for lunch on a sea day where could you go on the region. Of course, Oceans. 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 Yep, yeah, that was great. Yeah, you can get the pizza bite, the pizza, the pretzel bite. Oh, <laughs> Back to the pretzel so bites. Good. Or you can get wings, you can get sandwiches, they got burgers, they got a lot of great options, all included in the price of your fare. That's or right. the local, sometimes they have a local on the ship, like we mentioned before. Of course, you've got the main dining rooms, mm -hmm. uh, great full service lunches, just like the breakfast, and they've got the buffet. So, yeah. A lot of great options and they do on some of the bigger newer ships they've got some other specialty restaurants that some of which are open for lunch yeah so a lot of great options for lunch on a sea day good time to explore or check your apps huh? <laughs> yes yes it is so let's move on we got to take a break from the food i'm getting i'm getting full just think about it i'm getting hungry let's, oh no okay <laughs> let's move on to some activities for the afternoon let's talk about them, uh, let's break them down a bit. Uh, rather than breaking them down by cruise line, let's talk about, um, and it can be cruise line specific, but let's talk about by outdoor activities. Let's start, let's break it down between indoor and outdoor first. Outdoor activities on the ship, you're at mm -hmm. sea, don't get off the ship, but outside in the sun, in the fresh air, what can you do on a sea day? Oh, so many things you can do. A lot of ships have like miniature golf, you can play oh, yeah. miniature golf, or you can do uh, go to the sports area and play basketball mm -hmm. or run around. <laughs> run around. There's that got that jogging track still. Right. Of course, or they got can, pools. They got yeah, swimming pools. Pools. You can water slides. I know. Am I interrupting? Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of outdoor activities. Uh, it, it, if you're an active person, you're going to find a lot of activities where you can go and do, like Joyce said, basketball courts, uh, jogging tracks, mm -hmm. water slides. Uh, some ships, like uh, the Royal Caribbean ships, have things like the uh, Flow Rider, where you can right. surf on the back of a cruise ship. Um, and there's ships like uh, Norwegian has some newer ships where they've got go karts. You can yeah. ride a go kart on the top of a cruise ship. Oh, goodness. Um, and, uh, Carnival has some uh, on the newer ships. They've got a roller coaster on a cruise ship. Oh you my goodness! You can imagine goodness. that. There's also rope lines. Is that what they call them? Ropes courses. Yeah, rope courses. Yeah, and the mini golf. I think out of all those things we mentioned, I think mini golf is the one we've done the most. We definitely haven't done the the ropes I got a course. Hole in one. You did. You did. You did. Uh, yes. Yes. That was. That was. It never happened. Awesome. But no, it, ha it it happened. I wish I was recording a video when you did it. That was amazing. I know. So that's outdoor activities, and I, we just. I know it's not supposed to stay iceberg on on a, a cruise show, but we just that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> so now let's talk about some daytime, afternoon, sea day, indoor activities. Now you mentioned oh. trivia before. What are, what are the kinds of indoor activities? You can do fun? crafts. You can yep. do some. Da sometimes they have dancing lessons. Mm -hmm. And um, oh man, there's so many things you yep. can learn about art or jewelry. Yeah, 
check your check your uh your the, probably the best thing to do is download that cruise lines app so you have the listing of daily activities and you can kind of figure out what to do because there's so many things some, some ships have movie theaters you can go and watch a movie in there yes. you can um you can also go and you can do things like you're talking about before trivia or different kinds of I'd call them, I don't want to call them lectures exactly, but you can, there's like seminars. informative seminars. That's the word I think I was looking for, or the crafts like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been talking a lot about food. Let's give a shout out to food's best friend, drinking. Yeah. You can go and you can head, hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. Yes. Go ahead. It's a sea day afternoon. Go and check out the bars on deck or down inside. So there's indoor and outdoor bars you can go and enjoy. A lot of great activities. So I like to start drinking right after breakfast. Get a mango daiquiri, have it all day. When she's on a cruise, folks, yes. this isn't a daily thing. <laughs> this is don't don't don't, don't uh, to your mom and dad. Don't you don't need to be calling anybody right I'm now. I'm only an alcoholic during the cruises. Oh boy, okay, let's move on. So we covered a lot of active activities. Um, in quiet, relaxed activities. Um, I think we covered the really active activities pretty well for, for a couple of people that aren't uh, spring chickens, I guess right. I'll say. Um, but for if, if, you're, if you're on a cruise ship and you're just like overwhelmed by the number of people on board, uh, a sea day is the time where next to getting on board the ship where you're going to probably see the most people. Maybe. So if you're an introvert or you just need a break, you can go to your cabin, but... Go explore the ship. You can yeah. find some quiet spots. Some cruise ships, a lot of cruise ships will have a card or game room mm -hmm. or a library. Yes. Some ships even have a chapel. You can go there and have a little bit of quiet time. And the thing about daytime on a cruise ship is some of the areas that are very active at night with comedy, with dancing, with music, mm -hmm. those are kind of just shut down. And unlike you might find in a mall or somewhere like that, they're not locked up and closed down. They're they're there, and you can go in there, and you can go and play. We've gone and played games mm -hmm. in one of those empty uh, nice. rooms. Um, a dining room sometimes will let you go into the dining room as long as you're not you know getting in the way or messing up the right. tables. Find a quiet spot and just enjoy some downtime. Yes, there are quiet places that you can find where instead of being outside in the pool deck where it's mm -hmm. all hot and hot. <laughs> hot and hot. Oh, yes. you can go to. You can find these cool little um, nooks and crannies yep. where you can sit down and play cards or That's have a right. drink. Or, yep. Yeah. And uh, I should mention, we're talking about kind of quiet spots and that sort of thing. Obviously, you can do that outdoors, hanging by the pool or indoors like we were talking about. But I, we I didn't mention one thing that I know is some people's favorite thing. It's not something that is we, we really think of right away. But most of these cruise ships have casinos mm -hmm. and you can go to the casinos you can spend any time when you're on a sea day that's the time to go because most cruise ships um because of laws and restrictions that sort of thing uh when you're in a port you're at a port of call the casinos are going to close down yeah uh, the shops are going to close down so during the day especially in the afternoon in the early evening go to do your casino time if that's something you want to do and go to the shops because those are going to be closed when you're the next day when you're in a port. If, if that's happening, that's not going to be the time where you can do that. And the shop sometimes has specials or seminars about the jewelry, oh, yeah. so you're more knowledgeable. And on a sea day, they normally have a seminar about the next port that's going to mm -hmm. be that you may travel to, so you're aware of where to go and what to see. Right. That's great. That's a great. Tip. We just threw out a couple good tips there. And uh, the next thing I had listed here is for tips. We wanted to get to some specific tips. I know we've thrown some in here and there. Um, I, I, we mentioned downloading the app or that you should get the app for your cruise. It'll come in really handy every day. But on a sea day, it'll help you find the activities. Yeah, um, comes really handy. Um, if Did you have any other tips that you want to share at this point? Um, yes. I'll throw out another one while you're thinking about that. Um, is we mentioned kind of talked about this, but on a sea day, that's the time to focus on options that are not available on port days, like the casinos and the shops, but also sometimes the dining options are not available. Like I've been on ships where at lunchtime, one or two of the options are not even available mm -hmm. when it's a port day, just because the ship's not as full, they just don't open up that option. Right. So 
check the schedule, see what's available on C day because some things are going to open up that aren't available That's other right. times. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, they usually have some like name that song or uh, oh, yeah. or do these little contests mm -hmm. that are fun to watch, like um, the Newlywed Show. Or, yeah, or, almost like game shows, right? Yeah, they have game shows like. Mm -hmm. I've seen um, Deal or No Deal mm -hmm. and Hasbro games. So yeah, and you want to also... check out what games they're doing throughout the ship. Yeah, and we're kind of getting into some activities that fall in the evenings too, but th that's a good point. Mm -hmm. um, they'll do things like um, the, the what is it called, the Love and Marriage Show or something yeah, like that. Maybe not like a specific carnival. I like to watch that. I, I, multiple cruise lines have been on do something similar where they, they have couples from the audience come up and they, they ask questions, kind of like the old newlywed game if you're old enough yeah, to remember that. Yeah, if you that. don't want to participate, just sit don't raise your hand. in the far back. Sit in the back. Sit in the back. <laughs> that's right. So but don't sit in the back when it comes to continuing to watch our videos. We got more information about C days that we need to share. But before we continue, I want to remind you, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe, get in the front row. It doesn't cost anything. It's just how you follow us. So you don't miss our future cruise day fun podcasts and other cruise videos, including cruise tips, cruise food interviews. we got a lot of exciting stuff coming and there's a lot of great stuff out there. That's subscribe right. down below with the notification bell on. So, you know, when we have something new, so next, let's talk cruise line specifics when it comes to dinner. You knew we'd come oh. back to food. We covered oh. breakfast. We covered lunch. What do you recommend? Let's start this time with Royal oh. Caribbean. What are some of the great options for concluded food, included dinner, doesn't mm -hmm. cost any extra, and specialty dining on Royal Caribbean? You want to start? Okay. So I would start, well, of course, you have the buffet mm -hmm. and then the main dining rooms. Mm-hmm. And always good options, the Windjammer uh, mm -hmm. Cafe Buffet and the main dining room. Yep. And I also remember that Royal Caribbean has like Jamie Oliver. Jamie's Italian. Jamie Jamie's Oliver is Italian, Italian restaurant. Yep. That's a great option. And but I really like Chops, uh, Chops Grill, the steakhouse. Yeah. Um, some of the newer ships have even more options like uh, Wonderland, which is a really interesting, um, creative so dining cool. experience. Yep. And there's other, you know, these these newer like Oasis class ships. They're just filled with restaurants. So yeah. many options. Uh, whether you want Italian, whether you're looking for uh, a steak or something more American, or just something unique like Wonderland. Right. A lot of great they have options. the um, the fifties diner kind of thing. <laughs> Oh, uh, Johnny Rockets. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the ships have the Johnny Rockets. So if you want something more casual, so some of these options cost extra. Mm -hmm. Some of them, like the buffet and the main dining room, you don't have mm -hmm. to pay an extra for. Um, let's talk next about Disney Cruise Line. Where? What are your options for dinner on Disney oh Cruise Line? Oh, my goodness. There's, there's so many. <laughs> and it varies by ship, but yeah. So you can do either Remy's. That's the French restaurant on, yes. on several of the ships. Yep. It's very fancy or it's and very called, expensive. It's called Enchante on yes. Disney Wish. Yep. Or you can go to Palo, which we always like. Mm -hmm. Or Palo Steakhouse. They, they yep. had to change it up for Disney Wish. Exactly. Disney Wish and the newer ships, I think, are going to have Enchante instead of Remy for French and Palo Steakhouse instead of just Palo for uh, the Italian. And if you're with family, mm -hmm. go to the main dining rooms because they're mm -hmm. all themed. I especially yep. like the Frozen one and the... Well, it varies by ship. You're ship. talking about Disney Wish because that was the last Disney ship we were on. And that's that's Arendelle. Uh -huh. And that's the... It's rotational dining. Um, so it, it, each night, your server will go with you to a new, a different restaurant. It's so, so you nice did Arendelle too. one night. And the next night, you did the, what, Worlds of Marvel or something Worlds like that. Worlds of Marvel. And then they had the 19, uh, 1923. The 1920s. Yeah. So... Yeah. Definitely check out that was the, Disney wish, but yeah, the Disney's rotational dining. Yeah, and you might find something that you really want to yep. explore, and it's they make it so fun. With and, yep, and that's whether it's a CD or not. So here, right. this is this is this is a it covers all days that you're on board. But again, the rotational dining that's their main dining rooms are including the price of your fare. Mm -hmm. um, just to be clear, because I think we kind of maybe glossed over it, Palo and Remy and uh, Palo Steakhouse and Enchante, those specialty dining restaurants are adults only. So yeah. you need to keep keep that in mind when you're planning. Um, they do cost extra and they are adults only. So 
mm, that might be great news for you. That might also mean you need to make some other plans. But there's also, and it varies by ship because we found out on Disney Wish they didn't have the buffet open for dinner. But oh, yeah. um, it, it, there's buffet and there's the food stands out by the pool. So a lot of great uh, dinner options on Disney. Should we move on to Norwegian? Yes. What dinner options? Um, and and I, I know, I'll just say the included ones because okay. Norwegian is really known for their freestyle uh, dining and you can just show up and go to the main dining room, or you can obviously just go to the buffet. But why don't you start listing off and describing some of the specialty dining options? Because they have a lot of specialty dining options, varying by ship, of course. Um, Oceans, of course. Well, that's that's included. So that's that's you don't have to pay extra for that. Just be oh. clear. Yep, that's fine. You can go there for dinner. What else? What about oh. if you want a steak? Cagney's. Cagney's, the American style steakhouse. Or the Brazilian place. Moderno Churrascaria. Yes. They bring the meat on the skewers and slice it off for you. And they they also it. usually have a French restaurant. La Bistro. Yeah. Typically, that's the one. And um, there's also some ships have a tapas bar. Um, they have. A, we tried that, remember? Mm -hmm. They have, uh, you can find sushi. You can find teppanyaki, where yeah. the, the, the chef is there. A Japanese style steakhouse is cooking up the food right in front of you on the grill in front of you and um there's other options on some ships where you might find q barbecue uh there's also what's it called la bamba i think it is the yeah. mexican restaurant a lot of great options and with the new uh prima class ships they're rolling out even more great options both especially yeah. dining that you have picks are for and included food so a lot of great options on the region we haven't even talked about carnival yet Oh my goodness. What about goodness. carnival for dinner? What can you do oh my goodness. on carnival for dinner? So on a sea day. On a sea day? Or any day, actually. I think the dinner options are going to be the same on any day because you're you not going to be important most You can most go days. to 555 Steakhouse. Yeah, 555 Steakhouse. And on some ships, they ha has a different name. But yep, the steakhouses are always great on carnival. Yep. Or, they, or you can go to the main dining room, buffet. Mm -hmm. They you can You can also go to like their. The pig and anger. Yeah, some ships will have the barbecue open in the evening, and if they do, then they're typically going to charge extra. They're going to have a more extensive menu, have things like ribs. Um, and you mentioned um, the, the previous options. Uh, just to be clear, um, the main dining room and the buffet, those are included. Um, the the barbecue we're talking about, uh, like pig and anchor, um, so and good. The the steakhouse five five five. You're going to pay extra for those. There's also bonsai sushi. Yes, yum. Bonsai teppanyaki on some ships. Yeah. Again, the, the 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 chef cooking the food there at the table for you. It's so fun to watch them make the sushi too. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of great options on Carnival and on some of the newer ships, they've got other things. Of course, we, we can't forget um, Cucina del Capitano. Yeah. That's a great option, uh, Italian. Italian option on board Carnival ships. You can always get pizza too. Pizza, yep. And so there's a lot of great options. We're just covering some of them. I'm realizing we've skipped some as we're going because there's just so many. Um, That's right. Can you tell we like cruise food? If you like cruise food, you should really be subscribed and watching our videos because we we got the info and we will we'll, we'll get you inspired and hungry. We'll give you Let's, the 411. Yes. The 411. <laughs> That's the information. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Back back in the day, we had a phone on the wall in the kitchen. You call four one one. They like exactly. What do I do? <laughs> now you just look at Wikipedia. You Google it. Um, right. Before we wrap up, like we need to wrap things up here. Um, a, a, a podcast number two. Any other C day tips that we should share? General C C day tips we kind of covered already. So I'm thinking specific cruise line tips. Okay. Um, things that, and this is kind of covering some of the things we've already talked about. But what I would suggest you do. If you're really into the active stuff, if yes. you really want to enjoy the sea day in an active way, maybe you you got kids, uh, or you're just are like you're just like the kind of person that's like, ah, oh, I don't want to be cooped up in the room. You can go out there if you're on Royal Caribbean. They got so many activities. They've got the Flow Rider. They've got ice skating at certain hours on some of the ships. Um, they've got zip lining on some of the ships. Yeah. Um, on, on Carnival, you've got the um, ropes course. The ropes course. You got the roller coaster. Um, you've they've got um, on on a couple of ships. They've got like a bicycle type thing, the Sky Rider, I think it's called. Yeah. Where you ride through the air. Um, 
on, on Norwegian. You've got the uh, go-karts and uh, laser tag, a lot of great uh, activities. Right, and um, the, the slides. The water slides, yeah. yep. And and Disney has got that Aqua Mouse, and on the Disney Wish, they've got the Aqua Duck. So a lot of great activities. And they have new games on board for Disney, for Disney that your whole family can get involved. Oh. It covers the whole ship. Okay, yeah. cool. So yeah, that's a lot of great activities. Um, if you're looking for um, something for the, specifically for the kids, most of these cruise ships are gonna have a video arcade and kids clubs. So if you wanna go off and spend some time, some have some adult time by the mm -hmm. pools or go off and do you know a massage or something like that, mm -hmm. You can send them to kids club and they can hang out with other kids their age and have age appropriate activities. That's right. Whether they're little kids or teens or in between, right? Mm -hmm. um, other tips for sea day is really like we said before. Have take fun. A Explore the ship. Did we say that before? Have fun. Have, okay. Here's a tip for you. Have fun. Yeah. And take advantage of those things you can't do on other days. Exactly. Um, if there's something you can't do, and this is kind of a bonus tip for outside of the sea day, um, if there's something that just you can't get in there, the flow rider is all booked up, or you can't get on the roller coaster, or it's just too busy at the certain restaurant, keep that in mind when you have a port day. And if it's a port that you don't want to spend a lot of time in, take advantage when the ship's a little emptier. If those activities are available, which a lot of them are, go take advantage of them on, on a port day. And <laughs> if you weren't able to get into a restaurant it never hurts to ask no matter what time if you're it's a sea day or yeah the middle of the week it never hurts to ask because we've been able to get into um restaurants that mm -hmm. we didn't have reservations and people sometimes cancel the reservations right. or don't show and and when if you're wanting to change something like that or you want to change your table arrangement or you know you want to book something you couldn't book beforehand do it as soon as you get on board right that's what has worked for us is go immediately to the major d at the restaurant involved or go to guest services mm -hmm. and get anything like that worked out so you so you have that and you don't have to worry about it because if you wait too long if you wait until the sea day is actually there um it, it, it probably will be too late so anything else we need to see about say about sea days? I feel like we've covered a lot here. Have fun. You said that already. <laughs> so let's move on and wrap things up by saying, hey, we appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I think we already mentioned that. But we need to let you know what's coming up on our next Cruise Day Fun Podcast, podcast number three. What's our topic going to be for Cruise Day Fun Podcast number three? So it will be Cruise Mistakes to avoid. <laughs> oh, I can't even look for the second two words. Cruise and mistakes <laughs> to avoid. I'm glad it wasn't cruise mistakes to make. So cruise mistakes to avoid. We're going to share some of our uh, mistakes and we're going to share some mistakes that we've heard or seen. So hopefully we can help you. We can, we can help you from those making mistakes. those same mistakes. That's right. So we appreciate you watching. Um, we have a lot more fun videos coming podcast videos as well as our regular videos uh we appreciate you watching how do we end this i forget how, how what's what's the final word joy um i don't remember what we did last time so i would say thanks for watching remember to be kind to each other fun 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 for cruise day fun 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 for cruise day fun podcast